Hey guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to have you back and I'm especially happy to have you if you're new here. Please don't forget to hit the subscription button before you leave if you like my channel and what I'm doing here and turn on that glorious bell so that you can be notified of all of my upcoming videos. I would certainly appreciate it. Give this a thumbs up if you love these kind of hauls so I'll know to do more because I have no problems. Keep going back to these stores, Marshalls and TJ Maxx, wear one. I think these were a really good score. I'm not 100% sure if you guys all like these or not, so you tell me. But um, anytime I see a high-end lipstick, I am like, mm, I want to try it. Because at this price, why not? This is cheaper than drugstore. These are Buxom, and yeah, hope you can see that. The Buxom Wildly Whipped Lightweight Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick, and it is very whipped. It is very easy to wear. I don't know that I would even consider these a liquid lipstick, much like the um, Lipstick Queen, the Vesuvius Red that I found at Marshalls. I don't know. A liquid lipstick to me is like dries down and it's just like oh it's not moving but um i was actually considering taking these back but then i was like lori these are 5.99 the comparable price on here is 21 and then i looked them up online and i was like no way these are like in the 20s close to 30 dollars so i'm not returning them the two shades that i ended up getting were Moonlighter and Wondrous. Um, there were more. And yes, I'm an idiot and didn't know and didn't grab. Uh, whatever. Um, I'm going to show you the box lid there. Um, Moonlighter is more of an orangey shade. An orangey melon color. And Wondrous is more of a mauve shade. Here's Moonlighter. And this, I try to get the light to pick up the buxom. It's kind of reflective. Hope that you can see that. Um, and here's the shade Wondrous. These are the actual colors. So let me turn them upside down. That's the actual shade. Um, they're very, really, as the name implied, wit. I knew that it was gonna be whipped. I don't know what I was expecting really. Um, but not this, I don't know. It is very opaque though. That is, uh, Moonlighter. Oh, and it's so pretty. It's just such a pretty color. And this one is Wondrous, which I've also grown quite fond of. Yep. And they're just really, really opaque. And now these have the lip plumpers in them, which you either love or you don't, um, make sure I, yeah. On camera and in person, that Moonlighter color is actually, I don't know, I this um, Wondrous looks a lot like what I'm wearing even though I'm not. What I'm wearing is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide. And I think it's in the shade Bound. I got that in my play box, which I uploaded, which you can link to. But these do, Oh, my situations they dry down some but they don't dry down like I'm used to for a liquid lipstick they do however plump up the lips and so because I love the shades and the texture and I love I was thinking like this is not a liquid lipstick at first I was kind of sad and I was like I'm gonna take it back um I, I'm not I'm gonna keep it because I'm like these are expensive and I scored them. I'm going to keep them and I have a ton of the um, Wet n Wild matte lipsticks that are so matte that I can't even move in them. So I have found shades that I'm going to mix these with and like make lip combos and I really have tried that a couple times and it works out well for me. It's like my perfect version of a liquid lipstick if you will because I like to be able to 
Move. This is a semi map. The NARS Velvet Lip Glide. I like that. Um, I can move my lips and I, I think it looks nice and I do have a liner on with it and it feels nice. However, I know if I go and eat and do something, this would come off. And that's okay. You know, that's okay. I really do prefer this over something where my lips look cracked and, you know, 10 or 15 years older than they are. So that's for sure. Um, but I'm, I don't know what, what I would call what I like. It's, and I, I need to try the cat suits because everybody seems to like those from Wet n Wild. I want a liquid lipstick that just is like a little less than the hardcore mattes and not quite a semi matte but more matte than a semi matte and not quite a true matte. I really like the color pop satin mattes. Um, those are kind of the closest things and so what I'm doing is just making my own mix basically. But I did get these for $5.99 at TJ Maxx and it says compared to $21 again online they're even more than that. So. I'm super happy. So I ended up with all the lipsticks. If you didn't watch my Marshalls haul, um, I will link it up there in that little eye. I ended up with the Too Faced uh, Melted Metals. I ended up with the uh, Lipstick Queen in Vesuvius Red. And then with these two, I ended up with two Buxoms. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I have used this, but I put it back in the packaging. It's $6.99. And um, this is the Makeup Brush Cleaning Pad. I've loved this thing so much, and I need to get it out and use it. But I, I didn't want it to look so bad by the time I got it on camera to show you. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that out of the box. Um, Mine's purple. I think there were a few shades. It has the suction cups on the bottom. It looks like a little painter's pad. I just am, you know, finding my way through YouTube and I'm cleaning my brushes a lot more because I'm using them a lot more and doing a lot of testing and, you know, wear times and different eye looks and I, I need to clean them more often. So this is really handy. It sticks to the inside of your sink and Instead of scrubbing in your hand, you just take your brushes across it and it's got like all of these different textures. I hope you guys can see that. Like it's got a honeycomb, a slant, zigzag, straight across this way, straight across this way. And you can hear that it's got a lot of tractions and my brushes were super clean. So I absolutely adore that. In that same section, let me just show you this and tell me what you guys think. This is by It Beauty Innovation. It's a medium mermaid oval brush. Medium mermaid oval brush. High performance. And you guys know these are dupes for the artiste. I almost took this back because... Um, I don't know how well it's going to work for my skin. My Beauty Blender, I can stamp, 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 stamp. Uh, but I liked the size. It's in between. There's the back of it. It's not so big that I couldn't use it for concealer and so small that I couldn't, you know, get, it would take forever to use. And I hear a lot of people say, you know, I like this size, I don't like this one because I can't use it for concealer, but I like this one for foundation. The one that I really want, if I would really spend the money on the actual Artiste brush, would be the um, Palm brush, you know, to really scrub in. Is there a dupe for that one? Do you guys know? I've decided I'm going to keep this. Um, I'm going to keep it. I don't know if I'm going to love it, but I want to try one, and I know there's some coming out everywhere now. There's, like, even some at Marshall, or at Marshall. Gosh, you see my brain. Do you see how it works? Do you see? Do you see it? Um, I know there's some at Walmart that are, like, in a really pretty duochrome um, finish, but this, it just feels really nice. Did I say how much this was? 
$12.99. It says compared to $36. I have not looked this brand up. I'll put the price for it in the annotation. It feels so... Just, it just, I've got a lot of swatches, but it feels really, really good. It really does. I'd like to try it and see if it would work for me. Because you, rev you know, you just really don't ever know if you're going to love something until you use it. And this one does seem very high quality. So I'm going to give that a go. I'll get back to you on that one. This is a Ciate Liquid Chrome Eyeliner. Cosmic. Cosmic Green. Um... It is very pretty. I didn't realize that I had another green eyeliner at the time. I tried not to buy anything duplicates. Well, oh, I did that last time. It does not pull off. Um, let me give you a quick swatch. And that's not even a really good one. It's really pretty. Um, I think more than a liner, I might actually use this on my eyes. But I do really like that, and I think that that's worth the money. I'm trying to get this in the best light, because if you don't catch it in the right light, you're not going to think it's very pretty. There we go. But I just, I, I'm a waterproof person, and I think I'm going to use this as an all-over-the-lid shade. Okay, so I got that, and that was $4.50 on clearance. And then the last two things that I got were these Stila uh, Got Inked Cushion Eyeliner. Um, and one is in, these are $3 a piece, by the way. Um, I hope that it shows up that they say $3, so, you know, I couldn't leave them for $3. One is in the shade Copper Ink, um, and one is in the shade Amethyst Ink. And these are waterproof, smudge proof, and they're in the pots. And I've never really owned, I've owned eyeshadows, I think, by Stila, but never their eyeliners. And so this is what they look like. I've been, um, kind of, not playing with them, but... Um, I thought that this one was, a, oh no, this one, I thought this was a navy, and it kind of is, but it, in the light, it just catches so many different shifts, it's beautiful. Um, I've worn the copper, and I like it, it's like a cushion on the inside, and, um, you just dip your brush down in there, you know, I, I don't know if some of you might like that or might not, but that's what that is, um. The shades are 715A and 815A. I mean, who doesn't want to save money? Um, I don't know why I do. <laughs> Maybe a little too much, but <laughs> I know that I just love these types of videos and saving that cash so that we can spend it on something else. And I appreciate you guys. I know you guys are starting to really respond to my videos, starting to subscribe. I'm starting to get a lot more of you, and I'm just so happy to have you here. I'm tickled pink. So um, please don't forget to comment down below what are you loving from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross or any of the other buyout stores. Uh, is there something that I need to be on the hunt for? You guys are my ears, so please let me know what you're loving down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I love you. God bless you. And bye-bye.